we're asked to find the points that trisect the line segment with endpoints negative three comma six and nine comma negative three. Notice how I've already sketched the line segment on the coordinate plane. The points that trisect a line segment would be the point on the line segment where if we cut the line segment at those points, it would create three shorter line segments all with the same length. So for example, for segment AB, one point might be this point here. Let's call it P sub one. And the second point might be, let's say here, we will call the point P sub two, where if we cut the line segment at these two points, it would create three line segments all with the same length. Or we can say the length of line segment A P sub one has the same length as line segment P sub one, P sub two, which has the same length as line segment P sub two B. To determine the ordered pairs for P sub one and P sub two, we'll begin by determining the change of X and change of Y from point A to point B, and then we'll divide those changes by three to determine the change of X and change of Y from point A to point P sub one, from point P sub one to point P sub two, and from point P sub two to point B. Let's label point A x sub one comma y sub one and point B x sub two comma y sub two. The change of x is equal to x sub two minus x sub one. The change of y is equal to y sub two minus y sub one. x sub two minus x sub one is nine minus negative three, which is equal to nine plus three, which is equal to 12. x increases by 12 from point A to point B. Delta Y is equal to Y sub two minus Y sub one, which gives us negative three minus six, which is equal to negative nine. Y decreases by nine from point A to point B. And now we'll divide these changes by three, since we're looking for the points that trisect the line segment. The change of X divided by three is 12 divided by three, which is four and delta y divided by three, or the change of y divided by three is negative nine divided by three, which is equal to negative three. So now we know the change of x is four, and the change of y is negative three from a to p sub one, from p sub one to p sub two, and from p sub two to b. To show this, starting at point a, if the change of x is four, we would go right four units. Because the change of y is negative three, we would go down three units to find the ordered pair for P sub one. From P sub one to P sub two, we would do the same. We would go right four units because the change of X is positive four, down three units because the change of Y is negative three. And just to verify, if we go right four and down three again, we are at the endpoint point B. And now let's calculate the ordered pairs for P sub one and P sub two. To find the ordered pair for P sub one, we start at point A, so X is negative three, and then add delta X divided by three, which is positive four. And the Y coordinate starts at six, and then decreases by three, so we add negative three, which gives us P sub one has an X coordinate of negative three plus four positive one, and a Y coordinate of six plus negative three, which is positive three. And now to find the ordered pair for P sub two, we add delta X divided by three to the X coordinate of P sub one, and we add delta Y divided by three, or negative three, to the Y coordinate of P sub one. So P sub two has an X coordinate of one plus four, and a Y coordinate of three plus negative three. Simplifying, the X coordinate is five, and the Y coordinate is zero. And our segment does verify this result. Notice how P sub one does have an ordered pair of one comma three, and P sub two does have an ordered pair of five comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.